Throughout the summer, your beehive needs general maintenance. Every seven to 10 days, you're going to need to be in that hive looking for disease. You're going to be looking for brood patterns, making sure that the queen is healthy and productive. You're also going to need to make sure that the bees have adequate space in those supers to grow uh, so they don't swarm on you. You'll be looking for swarm cells and that'll tell you that you, you need to speed up your maintenance to every seven days. When working with your bees, you need to pick a day that doesn't have a lot of wind, that is maybe slightly overcast so it's not too hot. You're, you're looking for a day where the bees are calm, you are calm, and if you've had a bad day at work, don't come home and expect to have an enjoyable day working with your bees. They can, they can sense when you've had a bad day, when you're stressed, when you're in a hurry. When you're working with the bees, you need to, to work slow, work purposeful, try not to jar them too much, give them a little smoke to calm them down. And there are some days when you're working in the bee yard that nothing you do is right. The bees are just upset. They don't want to be worked with that day and they're going to tell you that. They are not going to settle down after you've worked with them for a few minutes. And the best thing to do is close that hive back up and let the bees be. All right. They need time to settle down. There are some days you can work with those bees for hours and they're not going to have a problem with you. Those are the days to be in the bee yard, to be enjoyable. You want to work always from behind the hive. You don't want to stand out in front of them. Be, they will be agitated. They won't be able to get to the entrance. You'll be blocking their path. So just general tips. Stay calm. Work when the weather's appropriate. And work in the middle of the day if possible. Most of those bees will be out foraging. They'll be on the wing. You need to, to utilize that time when there's lower numbers of bees in the hive. It allows you to find the queen to look at the brood pattern, to look at the honey stores, and to make sure you don't have any swarm cells forming. So remember, work with your beehives when the weather is good, when you are calm, and you will have a healthy and happy beehive. As a beginning beekeeper, it's oftentimes hard to keep yourself calm working with your bees. Uh, you, you're facing 10, 20, 40, or 50,000 bees per hive buzzing around you when you work with them. And those bees can tell when you're stressed, when you're nervous, when you're excited. And so when working with bees, keep yourself calm, keep your movements slow and purposeful, 